Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster campaign playing as Borderlow on uh, Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires, and this one is an absolute catastrophe. So this is what happens when a multiplayer person plays campaign. It's just like, I've gone through a little bit of the stuff here, looking through it, and it's just all bad. It's like, he's leveled up badly, it's just every, like, this army here is just terrible. I'm almost certain this is a deliberate screw-up. Um, but, you know, we can sit here and whinge about it, or we could try and do something about it. So, I've been thinking about what we can do. He's, he's at level 40, so there's not much I can do here to, uh, to change the way he's leveled up his troops. Um, I just leveled up um, Alboric. I can't believe he's got to level 40 without getting his uh, Hippogriff Knight. Like, what the hell? Um, yeah. We have to get out of Norska. Like, what a, what in the fuck are we doing here in Norska? Seriously. We'll never be able to hold on to these territories. You got minus 1,188 chivalry. Um, the only thing I could think to do is to, like, just leg it the fuck down here as quickly as possible and just get out of Norska. Because we have no idea what's coming in over here. So what we'll need to do is grab one of the... Actually, go by a regular march. Just forget about this dude here. It just doesn't matter. Um, cancel that. It's not going to get done. Um, what are you researching? Wider plows. One turn away from getting that. Grab that instead. Considering you got peasant archers. Do you know who I am? Yeah, we need to, like, get out of here quickly. That's the big thing. Um, I think he's also, if we have a look at diplomacy, I'm pretty sure he's deliberately declared war on all of his allies because he's got a weird, like, if you have a look here. No, it doesn't say broke alliances, so I don't know how he got very low reliability. I just, yeah, there's something doesn't add up here. Something really doesn't add up. If I'm standing there this turn, I don't think I'll be able to make it to long, Longship Graveyard the next turn. And if I do this, we're, we're not going to have any generals. Oh, we're not going to have any settlements left, so we will take attrition. Um, Alright, let me just move to here. And then I'll send this paladin to just scout a little bit ahead. Doesn't look like there's anyone there, but it's really hard to tell. So yeah, we Lord of Bretonia. We will probably unless this one here captures that settlement, we're that's gonna revolt as well. No, not if I do that. Protector of the realm. Uh, we'll see how we go. Could capture Grayling move, but we just we gotta get the hell out of here. We're going to take attrition here no matter what, so we might as well take no settlement attrition sort of thing. we just got to get out. My now, another thing that we could do is recruit some generals My for the sole purpose of why not. Does it increase our su supply line costs? We could just get out of here. That's what it's all about. If these guys could survive the end turn, we could use them... Maybe, maybe we can make use of them. Maybe. Um, doesn't look like there's any more regiment of renown. Probably got them all killed. All right, let's move on. There's nothing we can do. I mean, with very low reliability, there is nothing we can do to do any diplomacy. No one will negotiate with us. Now we could. We could remove the snow attrition. I was actually... I can see that he didn't research that. This is one of the things that made me think is deliberate. He has access to the technology to not take snow attrition, but he's obviously been here a while and he didn't do it. That's what leads me to believe this is deliberate, because if we had no snow attrition, at least we wouldn't take as much traveling through here. I mean, you're going to take chaos attrition as well, but... it's Look, this is the thing. 
This guy is either really, really, really bad at campaign, or this is deliberate. Alright. So... I don't know if this guy here is going to die. We'll see. Easy come, easy go. No big deal. And that's actually really good, because that way we actually still have a settlement over the end turn. Thank... Thank fuck they didn't um, attack that other army on Force March. We should not be here. Honestly, this makes that campaign that was sent in when um, they were in Lustria, like Bordelow was in L Lustria. This makes that look like a piece of cake. And that was rough. And the thing is with a campaign like this, you have to make hard choices. Holding your ground, you just, you can't justify it because it'll just end up in limbo. You gotta get out of limbo and you just kind of have to risk everything to do it. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to make it down there, but let me just see if this paladin... Just give me a bit of intel over here. I need to know what's coming. Okay, so there's another army there. And it's... Oh my god, there's no way we're going to beat that. But at the same time, I don't think he can catch us if we stand here. That's just simply too far away. But what we might be able to do, because she's actually very high level, if I could get her to delay him... If she det hang on, what items does she have here? What plans his hit points? Give that to Alberic. He doesn't need that right now. Noble. The lady leads me. Yeah, she he'll probably come around over here. Guardian of Bretonia. Glory awaits. Honor before glory. Um, hire another general here, because why not? Do you know who I am? Got plenty of money, that's not the problem. So yeah, you could have done Winter Woes Decree, but didn't. Um, let's have a look here. Probably charity would be alright. So we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna be in Norska four more turns, so it's just it's not gonna matter. Let's grab that. What about this? It'll take thirteen turns, but I don't know. Yeah, we, wherever we go, we're gonna need public order if we're gonna hold any ground anywhere. So very heavily hoping that if you have a look at the chances of success, sixty six percent. Alright, now this dude here, I want you to come with, because I'm going to need fighters for, for this coming battle here. This guy here mm, isn't going to be able to show up, but what we might be able to do is have uh, Wolfric like, chase after him. But there's just nothing else we can do. It's definitely going to revolt, and I guess I guess we'll, we'll see. Another thing that we could have done is fight the battle manually and just allow the army loss penalty to occur. Um... See, with these rebellions as well, Norska has to deal with them. Can only hire one general per province per turn. So yeah, if we fight that battle manually, throw away the garrison, try to get him out alive. What's he going to go for? I hope he goes for the Doom Keep. Alright, cool. So this time I'll fight it manually, so that we can throw away these dudes, and this guy here can actually live. Like, 
every little bit of strength counts, and it's the only thing we can do, is hire new generals. So just straight away, just throw them away. We're not trying to win here. The whole point of this is actually to lose, but not get everyone wiped out. So you just, you just stay there. Can't tell them to actually withdraw. Yeah, it's coming close to the edge of the map. Waiting for army loss penalty. Come on, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Get tired so that you can run. There we go. He got out of there without too much damage. Now here's the thing. That was our last settlement. It's not game over, but we don't have any more territory, which means we're going to take additional attrition, I think. It's okay. We, we don't have a choice. We couldn't possibly hold it. If everything goes well, and we manage to block that other army, we might be able to, at the very least, hold on to Ice Drake Fjord for one turn. Maybe. They already checked that um, Elbrick does actually have Witchfinder General. One of the reasons why he's got so much, so low um, chivalry is because he declared war so many times on... Um... Oh, blew up your own settlement. Good, he's not chasing after us. As in, not Al uh, Alberic. Good, that'll take him more than a turn to get here. So we can actually rest here for a turn. Should be able to beat this, no problem. It's only got 11 things. If it was like upgraded garrison, then we'd be in trouble, but... That's good. Then there's no one else around here. And then we can start making plans to getting back into the old world. Now, what we could do with him is we could have him reoccupy that settlement so that they have to basically demolish it again or reoccupy it. Or we could have him run in the opposite direction and just play silly buggers with them. Controls just isn't going to matter. Okay. Three steps of the lady. So 65% chance of success. That would be great if this does work. Please work. Oh yeah. Okay, good. So Wolfric is not going to catch up for a while. In fact, we could probably dodge him. This guy here can get away. Like, he's not going to participate in this battle, but he can... He can help. Uh, I mean, he can survive. <laughs> Right. Oh my god, did we take a lot of attrition. Still should be able to beat this. Like I said, it just had to be done. The lady wills it. Strike them down. You are overruled. True knight of Bretonia. My legend inspires. It's not gonna be an easy fight. Um what are we going to do with you? Because what I could do is send them out this way and just play silly buggers with them. My reputation precedes me. Alright, here's what I want to do here. I want to reoccupy this. It's going to be expensive, but we've got money. Money's not the problem. We need to delay these guys as much as possible. So reoccupy it. Oh, it doesn't cost us anything to resettle. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's because I do it so very rarely as Bretonia. Alright. Protector of the realm. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Ah shit. You can't get out. I refuse. Shit, I can't get out. But like I said, it delays them for a turn. Uh, and you need to get down here. Alright, and now we need to win this battle. We can recruit another general down here. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, so it's fine. Should be fine. 
I'm going to turn of rest here. That should really help. And if we can... I mean, there's two-thirds chance that we can continue to to block um, Wolfric each turn, buying us more time here. But our replenishment rate is still not going to be good. It's going to be something like like 12%. Something really, really low. Our breaks are at the heal post pressure right? Yep, good. He needs it because he's our best unit. Would have been good if we had the damsel in here. But it is what it is. Now, when it comes down to the archers, it might be best to take out the trolls first, then the mammoth. I don't know. The, also, at the same time, trolls aren't really a huge threat. I'm sure other regiment of renown will become available over time. You probably just got them wiped out. Okay, trolls are getting shot at first. All right, now focus fire on the mammoth. Don't worry about the trolls. We'll, we'll be fine. All right, take out the. Uh, okay, just harass them a little bit. Maybe come down over here and attack this dude. Okay, let's start sending this guy around the flank. Same with you. Okay, that mammoth is going down, which is certainly good. I'm going to take out the missile units. We don't need to kill it, we just need to make it shatter. But not too much damage so far. Okay, it shattered, good. Um, are the trolls still in play? Oh yeah, they're... Okay, yeah, shoot the trolls. I'm going to shoot whatever the biggest target is, whatever you can actually hit. Bounce of powers massively in our favor. This is a win. I don't often get to see the uh, bounce of power. If I didn't mention before, this is on very hard difficulty, not on legendary. So I guess that minus five public order penalty due to not having much chivalry, or having negative chivalry, it's actually not that bad because I'm used to actually having minus eight public order penalty. So at the moment, it's actually at minus nine because of the four from very hard, five from lack of chivalry. That, getting rid of that anti-chivalry stuff, that's going to take a very long time. And the thing is, you want to, you're definitely going to want to bring Lewin Leonko back, which means you'll be at war with him. I mean, he's like the Bretonian best general. Way better than, than Alberic. I mean, you don't need the Fae Enchantress, apart from beating her up. At least, at least you can bring them back to life. But still, it's a pretty long distance to get home. A lot of money to sack it. Yeah, I think I will. We'll lose, we'll lose another thirty chivalry, but whatever. It's not going to make any difference. All right, small amount of replenishment. Like I said, it's yeah, it's it's not much. And that way, when they come down here and try to retake it, it'll, it'll just take them longer. All right, that's good. That's good. Maybe if we can come over here and take Dieterschaffen. Maybe. Or if we can hold on to there for long enough. Well, the problem is we don't have any intel down there. Alright, so now we'll recruit another general. And I want to put this dude out on the water. Alright, now, Norska, can we get peace? 
Very unlikely. Yeah, I didn't think so. We we'll probably have to defeat Wolfric in combat, but he's now mammoth spamming, so Lord of that's not going to happen. Don't bother building anything here. It's just not going to. It's not going to finish. So we'll stay here for the turn, and then I guess we'll see. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yeah, I need you to be increasing your success chance more so than I need to be reducing the movement chance. Movement stuff. So if we ever look at it for next time. Forty-nine. Yeah, but that's because on guard. Twenty percent. So that means it's at sixty-nine percent, right? Yeah. It's all right. Okay. So what are we gonna do now? Probably. Uh, don't need to really research that right now. I guess go with that. I don't, I don't really see anything else to do. Oh, that's so bad. If you have a look here, ransomed captives, declared war on the Bretonians, minus 600. Lord traits, minus 390. Sacked settlement, 750. Man raised settlement. What? And you raised men's settlement, I see. Decisive defeat. He actually hasn't been defeated that many times in the campaign. It's just just really poor play. Poor campaign play, but good battle play. Again, multiplayer dudes. They just don't know how to campaign. Generally speaking. No, not all. Not all, but it's just sort of a, a generaliz generalization. Depends. Because uh, this guy did say that he's a multiplayer player. Because here's, here's the thing. If you play multiplayer, don't bring a multiplayer build to campaign. If you play campaign, don't bring a campaign build to multiplayer. You have to treat them separately. They don't function the same, and they, the balancing is completely different. You know, don't bring Hippogriff spam into multiplayer. It's not going to work. You know, at the same time, don't bring a completely balanced build in in uh, campaign because it's not going to work. You know, unless you play on like normal difficulty. Well, not necessarily it won't work. It's not going to be effective. Cause like the army that he's got, it's it's pretty multiplayer, like strong, I think. Good. Wolfric's going in the opposite direction, so I could I could um, block him again, but since we're not going to stick around here, it doesn't really matter if he does take Ice Drake Field. He's not going to take it next turn, so we could probably start heading out. We're in a bit better position now than we were before. Even though we got fewer settled... Oh, hang on. They didn't actually take it. Huh. I couldn't get that guy out of there. And it doesn't matter. Easy come, easy go. I haven't done any of their... Uh, not selected their vowels because I didn't expect them to live. Might as well get to it. Noble. My reputation precedes me. My strength and wisdom are yours. Leaving. Alright, there's an army coming in over here, but I don't think it can reach here in a single turn. Armored in faith. How are we going for replenishment? The thing is, if we go out on the water here, we're not going to take any replenishment, but we don't have a choice. We have to get moving. Well, actually, you could... Yes. Yeah, no, we have to get moving. Another problem is that we have no idea what's waiting for us here. Absolutely no clue. Which is basically why we send this guy in first. It's not too bad. Okay, should be should be relatively safe. They could send some forces over here. Honor before glory. Attack. Oh, oh, thank you, RNGesus. 
<laughs> I mean, it had nothing to do with uh, with RNG, but oh, great stuff. We've made it back to the old world, which means our replenishment's going to go up by a considerable margin. But we need to know what's at, at Salzenmund. If we could just have one turn of replenishment here, that would be so good. Try to let Albrecht do as much of this as possible, because he's got a health potion, and he's in the best shape. But don't take, like, too much damage. But this is good. Having them come in in, like, in not a cohesive manner, that's that works really well for us. This guy here is also in pretty good shape, so we could send him in. I wish we had more health potions, but it is what it is. Good, they should be getting the army loss penalty soon. This is going very nicely here. so good to uh, like be away from Norska. Like, I, I do expect that they probably will send some forces into the old world to come and hunt us down. Maybe. But if we're fighting them here, it's a lot easier than fighting them there. It's one of the things that makes actually getting rid of Norska really difficult. They are so strong in their homelands. Well, yeah, because they're difficult to root out because you demolish one of their settlements, they just recover it straight away. And if you occupy it, well, you just, you can't, because public order, replenishment, it's all just bad. Bretonia has a really hard time in Norska. Other factions can do it a lot easier. Yeah, if I sack it, I won't have enough movement, so. So this is what he was doing. Like, if we have a look, it did say he's got, like, a lot of miners from raising man's settlements. That's not what we want to do. Yeah, oh, okay, I only did it twice, but still, that's pretty bad. Blessings of the lady. If we have a look at him, abductor, gained by ransoming captives, he should be able to get rid of that. Villain, gained by fighting Bretonia faction, should be able to get rid of that. Destroyer, should be able to get rid of that as well. Kingslayer, oh my god, by, gained by destroying Bretonia. Are you, what is wrong with you? And traitor. You should be able to get rid of all these negative traits just by, like, praying. But we got to actually build that stuff. Don't worry about that so much. Alright, Selzerman doesn't have improved defenses. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yeah, screw Ice Drake Fjord. Let's get out of here. And let's also recruit another general. Oh, and don't forget her. She needs to come with us. And, yeah, we need... Another one. Okay. So yeah, replenishment rate is much better now. Now that we're out, out of red territory. Uh, this guy here. Um, I mean, there's no sense in sacrificing him. So let's get a bit. Up. Who cares? It didn't, didn't end up costing us anything to occupy that. So it's fine. Oh man, mammoth spamming bastards. Lord. Yeah, get these guys on a Pegasus. So, let's have a look at their strength rating compared to us. It's They're significantly stronger than us, but they've also got a lot of enemies, sort of. Not really. 
They like us. Right. What what the hell? We're allied with Pirates of Sartosa? Oh, well... Oh, there's... Thegan's errantry still exist. What are your demands? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, now coming over here, capturing this will allow us to recruit better units. Because we got enough money to last a long time. We, we need a p solid push to get back to Bretonia. Now... We want to revive Lewin Leonco, but like there's eighty two percent vampiric corruption here, so it's just, it's going to be very difficult because in order to revive him, we have to get rid of the vampiric corruption first, down to at least twenty percent, and then we have to let Corone revolt. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. I mean, I'm just glad to bloody be back on the mainland. We've got to build up our forces again. All right, so it, that's probably actually better that we've got it that way because we've got um. At the moment. And can we recruit anything? No. Alright, let's move on. Oh shit. That's actually going to make it harder for us to get back, but that's fine. As in, for her to get back. Because she won't just be able to use the port to get away. Because that'll definitely attack. And it doesn't matter. It'll blow up Ice Drake Fjord. And in all honesty, that's another big finger up for... Uh, for, um, what's it called? Oh, I could have recruited another general, Ice Drake Fjord. Ah, a bit overkill. We've got four here, that's good enough. And luckily, because we, we just managed to get uh, Alberic on his Hippogriff, he'll actually be able to have Siege Attacker. Prior to that, I don't think he had any Siege Attackers. Oh, damn. Well, this guy ended up not being able to make it here. I didn't think they'd be able to reach. It's alright, easy come, easy go. Could go over there and attack them, but I just don't see the point. Even if they take Dietrichshafen, like, next turn, it's fine. Uh, we, we've got to go over, over to a provincial capital. We just need something like that. And it should be easy for us to take it. Unless they put a large army in there. In which case, I'm not sure what I can do. Good, so that's, at least that's Norska's capital blown up, so he's not going to be getting any mammoths from there for a little while. It's not going to do anything, we're not going to be able to get any of it. Yeah, so we can't get around that zone of control, but he can get around over here. I've taken the Doomkeep, that's fine. My magic is yours. Oh, damn it, they did exactly what I didn't want them to do. Bloody typical. Alright, but they don't have strong defenses there. I could probably cheese a victory there. Probably. I mean, these these artillery, I could clear them out easily enough. Problem is, we don't have any artillery. And at Salzmond, I believe we'll be able to hide our melee troops, so the towers shouldn't be able to reach us, but 10 plus 16, 26 units. Good troops as well. Albrecht will be able to clear out the walls like a great deal. Yes. And I'll essentially have one full stack. Well, not even that really, because these guys are damaged. We have to do it though. It says it's evenly matched, but honestly, don't trust the order resolve in terms of that stuff. Lord and hero. Now, what might be better is if we could lure this guy away from Dietrichshafen so that we can hold on to it. So what we want to do in that instance is basically give him bait. 
So you can see what his movement range is. We put this guy just close enough for him to be able to reach, but not necessarily to be able to catch. That way, he'll probably be more likely to attack this than this. Might not. Hard to say. But I'll recruit another Lord here. No big deal. They're not that expensive, really. My strength and wisdom are yours. And it certainly would have been good if we could have had the damsel, but it is what it is. Alright, so. Let's have a look at the map. Hopefully there's loads of trees there for us to hide. I usually hate trees. Yeah, we, we can hide our troops over here so we don't have to worry about the towers. And that way we could utilize um, Alberic and the Flying Paladin in order to waste the ammunition of the Hillstorm Rocket Bay. Not only waste the ammunition, but even shoot their own troops with it because they're not good at, at hitting us. And try and clear out the gunners from the walls. Or even, even better still, clear out all of the infantry from the walls. But that's a bit of a stretch. There's a lot of troops there. Once we've done that, then we can bring out the archers. And then we could take out any cavalry easily. If that manages to succeed. It's a big if. I absolutely hate the way that Alberic has been leveled up. Such a noob way he's been leveled. He did not reach his full potential. It would be really good if Creative Assembly could introduce a, a respec mechanic. Alright, so we got to go and hide because we don't want to launch the attack right away and we don't want their artillery upon... Yeah. We don't, we don't want the tower shooting at us. You don't want to get into too much of a blob or else sometimes they just sort of waddle out of it. But if they get discovered, I believe we've got a paladin on horseback. We'll put him out in front so that he can tank the shots instead. Keep him hidden for now, but we'll see. So this one's on a Pegasus, yep. Alright, if they're hidden, the towers can't get them. So the odds are not in our favor, but not by a huge margin. I think we could turn this around. Bit of a hit, that's a major. Taking out their light wizard would certainly be a good idea. My strength is yours. Moving the pace. Good sweet. All right, let's try and take out the um, let's try and take out the gunners first. Like this this guy here, I don't think he's that big of a threat. The guns are definitely a threat. That's it. Bomb it. Bomb us to hell. Because also what could happen here is they'll actually end up creating a breach for us. Okay, fly up. We want to be doing bits of hit and run. Although at the same time, we've got to be careful not to let their gunners shoot us. So... Trying to fight the Halberdiers, just fight the Gunners for now. Yes. <laughs> Those artillery actually working for us here. Some good old Bretonian cheese here. Good. I haven't taken any damage so far. Really good. Come on, fly up. Swiftly. 
And of course, he still has a health potion that he can use. So, odds are, you know, it's just slowly moving up. That's what we're trying to do. Just pick him apart a little bit with, with essentially free kills. And, you know, they're going to lose balance of power by using their ammunition on their artillery as well. Because that, that's really good artillery that they're essentially using to kill their own troops. And they've done a little bit of damage to the gatehouse, not a whole lot. It's probably not going to open the gate for us. Now, the thing to note is that this dude here is immortal. Pretty sure he is. So, if he gets wounded in this battle, it is okay. I haven't done any damage to, to this one yet. It doesn't really matter that much. Let's keep him busy. More like a solid hit right in there. Oh yeah. Alright, let's have a look at this. So only one of them is shooting at us at the moment. That's okay, just take whatever we can get. This is an important fight, we can just take whatever wins we can get. We still haven't got it over to even, but it is moving over there. I mean, we haven't taken any casualties yet. Good, that light wizard is not necessarily dead, but he's out of here for now. Don't, he, he may recover. No point chasing after him. If he comes back, he comes back. If not, don't worry about it. Oh, that's, that's some nice, friendly fire that we're getting on them there. Bouncer power's moving center. But another thing to consider is that it'd be good if we could take no catch these, because Oslin might have another army waiting right around the corner. And so we need to make sure that we can counter-attack them as well. And this is working so well for us here. Don't, just don't stop. Very nice. Now it's even, roughly. Bit of damage on this guy, Elberic is still fine. Loads of kills on them. I'm gonna keep getting them off the wall, then back on them. Just to get that, that charge bonus. So good. I like that. Odds are moving in our favor. Alright, looks like these ones here are starting to shoot. This guy here is not getting shot, even though he's not hidden. Oh, he's outside of range. Okay, cool. It's better. We don't actually need to hide. What is he doing over here? Good. Odds are in our favor now. 
It's a great start here. They're all nice and fresh. Oh, he'd be fresh because he got the, the Grail Veil. Same with him. So I don't, yeah, okay. I don't need to be hitting that ability. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Imagine that, winning the entire siege just with two units. Good, that Fire Wizard's dead. This other one is out of there. Good. Both their wizards are dead. Bounce of power firmly in our favor. Still got a little bit of ammo left on that dude. Uh, I really need them to be shooting at us as well. Because otherwise they're going to really mince our, our infantry when they come in. Yeah, these uh, these great swords are pretty badly erect at the moment. Can't speed it up. All right, we got we got gunners shooting at us. If we, if we stand up there, they sh they should come up here to to fight us in. Well, not fight us in Miller, but to, to try up come up here and shoot us. Yeah, got to get rid of the gunners first. Now now that there's more heavy troops up here. We're actually taking a little bit more damage, but it's okay. He's still got a heal potion. He can keep fighting for a while. But I really want to get these guys to come around over here so they can hit us. This one here still hasn't used up all of its ammo. Okay, fly up so that you can charge down. Because if I, yeah, like I said, if I bring them in here, all I'm going to do is cause unnecessary casualties on my own troops. Was that the last? No. So which one's shooting at us? That one. Okay, good. Get right into the thick of it here, so that they can they can hit this this area. Don't use the health potion just yet. But if this keeps up, we will actually clear all of their infantry off the walls, and we'll be able to just come up here without fear of the uh, the towers getting us. Next level up, this guy here needs to get a, a on a Pegasus. It makes a big difference. These guys here, I've got amazingly good stats. We've just about cleared the walls. With two units. 
Got to keep in mind, though, that most of their troops were actually exhausted right at the start, and we have perfect vigor, so we just don't tire. Good, they're shattering. Is this dude on a horse? Yeah, okay. Alright, with that done... Well, okay, it's not quite done yet. Just give it a little bit more. We just got to take out the re just the last little bits of their infantry. Get him out, get him out. Can fight him. That should be fine. But we want to waste the ammunition of the the uh, artillery there. It might even just give us the the bounce uh, the uh, the army loss penalty if so. I give them the army loss penalty if they use that because they've only got a few knights left. Alright, all their infantry is gone now. But like I said, before we bring out any of our infantry, we got to make sure that... I'm going to move this guy out of here. Got to make sure that there's nothing that's going to hurt them. Because then they can stay up on the wall here and just shoot down at the knights with absolute impunity. I'll, he I'll heal him once the battle ends. Because that might restore him to full. He's the devil. 666 six, six kills. And if you look, you, you should be able to see the balance of power actually creep towards us a little bit. If I put my... Yeah, you can see it just creeped there. As the enemy loses ammunition. Now, you don't get to see that on legendary difficulty, but I've always known that's been the case. This is why we waste their ammo. Because all that matters is this bar here. It doesn't really matter about how many men you kill... All that matters is this, once this gets far enough over here, bang, you win. You don't have to kill your enemy to beat them. Okay, just a little bit of ammo left. Alright, let's start bringing our archers up now. They've got no guys left that can get up on the walls. Actually, apart from the Hillstorm rocket battery. But we shouldn't need to worry about that. I forgot one of them. Set them up over here. Shoot into the Demigriff Knights. We'll have the army loss penalty inflicted in no time. And we'll take zero casualties. In fact, the only guy will be damaged is this dude here. Because uh, Albrecht will be able to heal. Do it now, actually. See if it gets me up to full strength. I'm not sure if it will. Ah, right. oh, shit. Oh, I'm not going to take zero casualties. Because of this. Oh, well. It, it'll still be minuscule, so it's alright. We likely already lost one or two of them. Yeah, we definitely did. Uh, if they've shattered, that's good enough. Alright, cool. So, Aberic's at full health, which is good. And we want them around over here. There is nothing they can do about it because they have no infantry left. They cannot get us. I want to be targeting the Demigriff Knights because hitting these, like, single entity dudes is just hard to hit them. But for some reason, they just don't want to shoot him. There we go. Walked out of there with minimal casualties. And that's how it's done. Heroic victory. Very nice.
10 losses, which could have been avoided. Oslin's got to be reeling after that loss. That's a that's a strong army they just lost for nothing. It's a lot of money, but do we need it? No, we need the settlement at higher level, so in order to recruit high, higher tier units. Alright. Good. Ah, uh, the barracks was destroyed, though. Ah, uh, not the barracks, the, um... The cavalry barracks. That sucks, because that's what I needed the most. Still losing out on money. Hmm, okay. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Now if this army uh, hmm. Protector of the realm. I can't recruit another lord yet. Never. So we're not out of the woods just yet. Honorable knights come to Okay. Gotta come up with a plan. It really sucks that the, the cavalry barracks was destroyed. We could have possibly been able to get Pegasus Knights, which would have been very helpful. Or Grail Knights. Alright, we should grab... See, these are affected by peasant economy, so it's not good. We got income from farms, farms minus 50%. Um, build up the defenses here. We're definitely going to need that. We want to hold on to this. I don't think I want to keep it because I mean, we're, we're, at our, we're at our peasant limit, so there's just not much we can do. Can I get? Nope, nothing there. I mean, we could start building it. Depends on how long we expect to stay here for, but we also need money. Eh, not really. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Three build slots. What else should we get? Trebuchets, yeah, I don't know if we need it. More damsels would be good. Grab that, and yeah, we really do need to get a stables up in here. Now, as for this, this is shit. Like, we're not getting any trade agreements anyway. Untaint, like, it's just, I just don't need this, so get rid of it. Um, what should we do here? Maybe reduce construction costs. Peasant duty. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get the peasant duty. I do need this province to grow. There we go. Good. Get him with Pegasus. Nice. Okay. We can chill here for a little while. Capturing Middenheim would be a good idea, so maybe we'll be able to find a a cavalry barracks there. It doesn't have improved defenses, so that's certainly possible. It's probably good that I did this campaign now, because like in a week, this is going to be outdated, because all of this map is going to change. So hopefully they chase after my general, not take Dieterschaffen. Or even better still, go back over there and reoccupy Eistrake Fjord. If we get Dieterschaffen up to tier 3, it'll get walls. The Von Karstens are actually still alive? Holy crap. Ah, oh, they did exactly what I didn't want them to. Alright, well, we need to fight this manually so this guy here doesn't die. I 
It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And yeah, I think we should come back here and finish this off. We, we don't want this Norsk army around here for any longer than what's necessary. Just to sacrifice them. Actually, yeah, try and do a try and do a little bit of damage to the uh, to the mammoths. I mean, they'll just recover before the next turn anyway. Just waiting for that army loss penalty to get inflicted. Uh, luckily, this is a settlement that they can occupy. Let's hope that they do, because it'll be a, a death trap for them. Yeah, don't be fighting that mammoth. Man, this guy's not running away. Okay, good. So I would have liked to have gone down and dealt with Middenheim, but we can't leave this army raiding the area. This is actually a worthy province to hold. Apart from the fact that we're going to have Norsken raiders come down all the time, it's still a worthy province to hold. At least for now. We can maybe get rid of abandon it later, but right now I want to hold on to it. We've almost managed to get up to full strength again. So it looks like they'll occupy Ice Straight Fjord next turn. That's fine, but man, our army's not going to be able to deal with that. Stop this torment. What is your behest? All right, if you just stand there, we'll be able to get him reattached to Alberic next turn. Very well, I go. It shall be so. Do you know right, so what we do with this dude, so that he comes back at full strength, just actually kick him out for somebody that's at full strength. Blessings of the lady be upon you. So that he can come in and assist. Taking my leave. Guardian. Okay, so things that we need here. We've got wood, yep, get that, we need money. Uh, hang on. It might be better if we build this up first. I know that we've got affected by peasant economy, but I'll, I'll fix that soon. And it does make significantly more money than tailors. I know it's not affected by peasant economy, but like I said, we shouldn't have to worry about that soon. And this building here will need to be the windmill. Because that'll provide an extra 300. We got no trade agreements anyway, right? No, I didn't think so. No boat. Protector of the realm. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Strike them down. Uh, I think we'll just sort of resolve this. For the lady. Good. And then we can finally reattach her. Good. Do we need here? Lord and hero. Of course, I need to be keeping up. How do we level him up? Oh, 
God, you didn't go with that? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Lightning strikes right there. Oh my God. That's fine, that's fine. I guess given the situation, that's fine, but still. It's just, just not well leveled up. Alright, we won't be able to take Middenheim next turn, but at least we're secure-ish for now. Of the realm. Hmm. Of course, it won't be long before he comes in here. And we've already seen that we can make it from Ice Drake Fjord to Dietershaf in a single turn. I don't know. I don't know what else we could do. We... Just need to deal with it. Alright, let's, uh, hang on. Now that Alberic's at full health, let's give this back to him. And let's give that item... ...to you. Alright, that, that works out reasonably well. Faith is my armor. Alright, let's move on. So yeah, that'll get occupied. Could have kept the damsel there just to keep him busy for a little while longer, but it honestly, it might be better just to have him come over here and just deal with him so that he has to go back and recruit them. I mean, that'll take him a little while to do so. If we're lucky, maybe Varg will declare war on him and start taking his territory. If we're even luckier, Varg will actually defeat him in battle so that they confederate with him. Because Norska as an AI faction is stronger than that Varg. Because of the bonuses they provide to mammoths. Taking that away from Wolfric will be a huge benefit to us. This is why when you play as Norska, you kind of you kind of should spam mammoths. I mean, it basically gives you every reason to do so and no reasons not to. Apart from, oh, I don't like cheese. Oh, I don't like to win easily. I don't like to win. Do you know who I am? So yeah, he, he may or may not be able to come over here, but... Even if he does, the walls here will get built. We can build peasant cavalry, but we want to be getting actually proper knight. I mean, ideally we want to be getting royal hippogriff knights there because they're so bloody good. But it is what it is. All right, let's grab this and that, and that'll do for now. Actually, what's this? No, you don't need that. Oh, man, but we can build that up again next turn. I can't sit around here waiting for that. Because those mammoths are just going to punch through it anyway. Oh, here's what we do. Sacrifices. Lord. Lord. This dude here is... Okay. He is far more likely, I think, to attack a general that's on force march out here than to attack Dieter Scharfen. So let's put him here. We are completely sacrificing him, right? But we're sending him in the wrong direction. Then I'm going to recruit another one to do the exact same thing until the defenses here have been built. My reputation so next turn, this dude will come out over here. I mean, give him his vows anyway. Just to keep Wolfric busy as long as possible. Me. Meanwhile... 
can't see what's there. Hopefully, oh, nothing. Doesn't matter if it revolts. We'll be fine. My strength and wisdom are yours. Hopefully, this time the uh, the cavalry barracks will will stay there. Yeah, very expensive buildings. And also, we gotta try and get more. We gotta need two more territory in order to fix up the peasant economy. Although there is a technology, water pumps, which will help us to sustain one extra. But since we've only got two regions, it, it doesn't matter. And like I said before, we shouldn't have any peasants in our army at this stage of the campaign. It should be mostly knights. Specifically, royal hippogriff knights. But, you know, I can understand why a multiplayer person would not want to spam that, because it's of no value in multiplayer. But, truth be told, you shouldn't be using campaign to practice for multiplayer. It's not a good way to do about it. They do not translate. The way that the AI fights is very different to the way players will fight. And also, you got to consider the bonuses that the AI get, which the player won't have. So, using multiplayer, using single player to train for multiplayer is a very bad idea. If you want to train for multiplayer, play multiplayer. Even like testing out the balancing of units on campaign, it's, it's not going to work. The balancing is different. Good, they took the bait. There's no way they can get to Dietrichshafen. They've got two armies. That's a different story. Alright, so next turn, stick him in over here, I reckon. See how that goes. Another problem with doing this, though, is that Wolfric is going to start leveling up very quickly. It's gonna happen anyway. It's like... I don't know. Maybe I should just let it happen. But when he comes to Salzman, he'll find strong defenses, and if we can send Wolf, um, um, Albrook over there, they'll sort him out. Uh, so I don't think I'll sacrifice him, I'm not sure. We really don't want him getting to level... Is it level 14 or 18 that he gets a Mammoth? Currently on a Chariot. Once he gets on a Mammoth, he's bloody indestructible. Yeah, you can see the bonuses that the Mammoth gets. You, this army here will not be able to stand up to that. Oh shit, we still- Oh, did we get blocked? How did I lose so much movement? Blessings of the lady be upon you. I don't have any other siege attackers. Oh, you motherfucker. Not a chance. Oh, god damn it. Why the hell did we lose 50% of our movement? We can't make it here now. And none of them will have access to siege attacker. No one blocked us. How did that happen? Well, great, now we have to deal with this instead, which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take Middenheim. I'm just wondering if I should send him out there to sacrifice him. Just to buy us one extra turn. Because he'll. It only takes one turn to build this. You can see how that goes. We're starting to lose a lot of money. Um, problem is, though, this guy here could potentially make the attack. Yeah, look, let's, uh, let's back off from this. And let's get ready to repel them. 
going to be a very difficult fight coming up here. You come over here, get ready for us. Um, against mammoths, we, we're going to need some mounted yeoman archers. That's the best thing for them. It's going to eat into our peasant economy, but, you know, there's nothing we can do. <sighs> Missed a great opportunity there to capture that. It is what it is. For some reason, the game is just like, nope, for some reason, this turn, half movement for you. Alright. Now, when the other army comes in by four... Yeah, it'll be able to land. Um, we'll be able to besiege the settlement and maybe knock that other army away so that we only have to deal with Wolfric. So what are they going to do? Man. <laughs> you try to predict what they're going to do and they just... I don't know. I can't believe you went home. We can't sit around here waiting for them. I could have built the fucking walls. <laughs> yeah, I put it up there on a silver plate for them. Look, maybe... Maybe we're just going to have to come back here. We've got to get to Middenheim. They, they, they're dicking us around. I mean, we'll eventually just hemorrhage cash. We can't do that. The Chaos Invasion in current patch is so pathetic. They, they never get past Kislev anymore. Yeah, it's fine. Valiant Lord. We might actually be able to make it to Norden this turn. But I I don't want Norden so much. Blessings of the lady be upon you. No! Bloody hell. Never! Should be able to beat that army. My strength and wisdom are yours. My reputation. Come then, only. But I really want Middenheim. If they besiege that, they might attack it on the first turn, but they probably won't. Do you know who I am? All right. Yes, I want you to stay there. Out. And we're gonna make our way down here. Shit. Absolutely not. Carol Wolfhart, huh? No. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Fuck. No. Guardian. Stand here. We'll hold our ground here. I don't think this guy can reach us from this distance. He might force march over here. If he does, whatever... Whatever happens. Alright, I actually might need to keep you here. Do you know who I am? I want to get to Middenheim. Yeah, it might actually be better to just let Nord, um, Ostland have Nordland again, just because Norska is such a pain in the ass to fight. And they'll have to deal with it instead. Although I don't think Norska is necessarily at war with them. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they are. Possible we'll end this turn without any settlements. Again. Oh 
could have once again built that up, but I don't know. I feel like even with walls, it's still not going to be able to do much. You know, we were able to get from there, there. Okay, so this is what I thought. They, oh my god, they sent a ridiculous number of troops over here. It's three full stacks. Okay. Just trying to come up with a plan. I feel like we can handle this, but we have to not control large army. That'll even the odds at the start of the battle. Their artillery will come in last, so... Yeah. We need to waste the ammunition of their artillery. I think that they've got a few armies on Force March. It's hard to tell exactly how many of them there are. They've, they're really bringing in the herd here. Alright. All their reinforcements come from one spot, that's fine. Um, come stand back over here. And we need to play silly buggers with them for a while. I need Albrook to come in. Oh shit! They... No, they're coming from the other way. Whoops! Who's this? Shit! I was completely wrong. Uh, it's, it's okay if these units here get wiped out. Okay, I need... Ugh, fuck me, I can't micromanage like loads and loads of shits in different spots. I need, I need these guys in control group, not locked control group, but get over here. They're actually doing a really good job against him. So yeah, at the, at the moment, the odds are like, okay. Wow, they, they've done a really good job taking out a Hippogriff Knight. Ah, uh, well, you know, a Hippogriff. What's... Yeah, they are on Force March, though. So these guys here, just go over there. Shit. Gotta get rid of their artillery. So what we can do is, when these guys here are out of ammunition, just withdraw them from the battlefield. Just get over here. That's, that's one, not destroyed, but, where's the other one? It's right there, okay. It's a weird map as well, such a massive high ground. Okay, I gotta get organized, that's the thing here. We just didn't get a good chance to get organized right at the start. Once we've defeated this first army here, if we can manage to defeat the first army, everything should be, oh god, should be a lot easier. Pieces of crap everywhere. You honor us. Fight her. I gotta get rid of this other other one over here. So their Hellstorm rocket batteries are probably the, the most dangerous unit in their army. Wait, Albrecht doesn't have the health potion anymore, does he? We also, we don't necessarily need to win this. 
We just need to do more damage to them than they do to us. We can always withdraw if things look like they're going shit. Okay, get him out of there. Get them out of there. Maybe go and fight Valmir von Rukov there. Kill the enemy general. Enemy lord is wounded. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, like I said, we've got to get reorganized here. We're in just a big friggin' mess. Yeah, come over here, shoot those demigriff knights, because our spears... They're actually doing reasonably well against them, but not great. Okay, get them out of here. Get you out of there. I need you to come in here and help him. Stop firing there. Get over here and help us out. Alright, this this fight going on here is not too bad. Don't heal just yet. Flagellants are probably about as good as these guys are going to get in terms of uh, shooting efficiency. Get out of there. Oh, we've got Fireball. Okay, use it down on that dude there. Okay, get out of there. They've got some heroes in here now. I need you to actually heal now. I just, I can't get this guy to fly up. Take out those gunners. He managed to recover most of his health there. Okay, should be able to just charge into them and finish them off. Just, I can't get him out. Uh, isn't there another dude over here? Yeoman archers. Okay, I thought that they'd actually be able to beat that by now, but they didn't. Faith is my armor. Battle ready. Boundless battle. Call our lady. Attack. Order. He's, he's doing alright. He's holding them back, if nothing else. Order lady. Demi Griff Knights come over here. Get him out of there. Still gonna send back up over here. Enemy reinforcements are staggering in. Yeah, they're all on force march. That's good. So if we win here, two of their armies will get wiped out. We just have to make sure their numbers didn't overwhelm us. And the other... Artillery reinforcements will come from down there. Keep those gunners away from here. Okay, get them out. Nope, still can't get that guy out. Trying to save him. Alright, now that things have oh, hang on, we got another one coming in, that's fine. Things are clearing up, so we can start bringing these guys over here to attack, yeah, probably greatswords would be best. Even though they're armoured, we'll have the high ground, that'll certainly help. <laughs> it's over, Empire, I've got the high ground. Sort of, not really. Uh, 
Alberic's certainly taking a lot of damage. If you can kill him, that would be great. Good. Another enemy lord dead. I think that was the actual general too, so they're going to start running. For Leonko. Yeah, we destroyed Leonko, by the way. Or more like they did. I had nothing to do with that. Good job. Okay, take out the other general. And I think that's all four of them dealt with. And now we just have to deal with staggered in infantry. Especially considering their general's dead. We can sort of take our time and pick them apart now. I'm glad I hired these. They've, they've actually been really useful. Alright, now we do also have the damsel here. She's on horseback, so she can come and help a little bit. Once they're out of ammo, withdraw them from the battlefield so that we can bring in our other reinforcements. We don't have to win this. Just have to do so much damage to them. I mean, it definitely would be good if we did win it. Just have to do so much damage to them that they they just don't pursue. How much magic do we have? I mean, 60. Okay. Could maybe use them for a bit of cycle charging as well. Maybe I won't just uh, withdraw them from the battlefield just yet. Definitely want to be focused on getting rid of those guns. I reckon they could horse sandwich this dude here. And... Break him. Because his morale is terrible. Good, they're shattering. That's what we want to see. Take him out. Good, they did that there. But they're doing a horrible job of actually running him down. Get rid of these damn gunners again. Please. Should be able to break these sword, uh, great swords as well. Considering these are broken nearby. Just need to make sure we swarm them. Okay, it's becoming a lot more manageable now. The worst of it's over. It's just a matter of how much are they going to grind us down. I mean, it's three armies against one and a half.
Good, now the unit wiped out. Well, shattered. Shattered is good enough. Alright, 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 alright. No, that's not working there. Back off. Alright, I've also got these guys. thinking what to do with them. Alright, let's take out this unit of great swords here with all six hero type units. They shouldn't have any problem against great swords. Great swords aren't good against them, plus they're exhausted. Anyone that gets up after that is literally superhuman. That's good. Like, that would just break your fucking neck. Bouncer powers even, but they've still got more reinforcements coming. We were able to break them very easily. That's what we need to be doing. Just pick them apart one at a time. Divide and conquer. Okay, there's another unit of guns over here. We definitely don't want their guns getting together. Alright, if they're shattered, that's good enough. Um, I think I will get them off the battlefield now, because I need... No, not yet, not yet. I'll just have the damsel sort of run them off the battlefield. Let's get these guys into position to make another attack. I'll send these ones to go take out the handgunners there. You guys, I need you to take out the... the hand... Oh, there's quite a few over there now. Gotta be taking out their handgunners. And if we can make them break at the edge of the map, get them off the battlefield, that's that's probably the best situation we can do. Let's get into a bit of a better formation here. I don't want to use them just yet. I think she can beat them in melee. She's got the Helm of Discord. Alright, it's shattered. Good enough. Maybe I'll come over here and try and take out some more of these. Like this one over here is starting to separate itself. Haven't used up any magic yet because I don't know if I want to. No, he's going to break in a moment. So maybe have these guys break them and then these ones here run them down. We've got some fireballs left. Good. Another another unit of great swords pretty much destroyed. But they will recover. They'll recover their morale. If we don't finish them off. If they're shattered, it's good enough. Good, another unit broken. Sending some backup over here. They're not doing well against the great swords there. Send Elbrick to come and help. Oh, that wasn't Elbrick. Alright, 
Alright, another unit of great swords. Take him out. And that's what we need to be doing. One at a time. Because yeah, it might be better. It, look, if these guys here get wiped out, so what? We can recruit more of them. And plus, they're over our peasant limit anyway. So if they get wiped out, it might actually benefit us. I'm not sure if this is going to go quite as well, but I guess we'll find out. Get him in. Because yeah, if there's more of them around here, they'll be bolstered by by each other, and just in terms of morale. Probably not a good idea. Let's, let's get him out of there. So we're concerned about those guns coming in. Yes, my lord. Of All right. Surely these guys here could take out a unit of handgunners, but I'm just concerned about those spearmen as well. Maybe I'll send these guys in to come and help. The flying ones, that is. Get these ones back a little bit. Our guys here should be able to fight them in melee. I'm going to bring them up here so they can start assisting. Loads of gunners. Okay, that, that didn't work there. Pull them out. Pull them out. Alright, so they'll be... Alright, just get them off the battlefield now. I need my, my actual useful reinforcements. They, these guys can't do much more for me. Shadow? Yep, yeah, okay. Leave the battlefield. Still got plenty of reinforcements to come. Bounce of power at the moment is still not in our favor. And I'm sure that they've still got reinforcements coming in. I'm gonna need a big fight down heal here to break them. Now this spell here... Just the melee attack. Alright, we gotta get rid of these guns. Oh, reinforcements are coming in. Cool. Oh, those guns hurt. Get over here. Bounce of power's in our favor at the moment. Gotta get at those gunners. Uh, not a good idea, not a good idea, don't do that. Okay, that's, they're, they're gone, get over here. Oh, these gunners, they hurt, they really hurt. 
Alright, get down here, get down here. Knights coming in. It's fine. Just get it over here because they're really exhausted and we're charging down here. We should be able to wreck them. Stop the damn gunners, they do too much damage. I'm pretty sure I've only got like one more unit in reserve. Oh wait, no, hang on, we've still got cavalry in reserve as well. So I've actually got quite a few. Still, we're getting shredded by the damn gunners. Man, Elbrook's got 500 kills. If they're starting to bring in their cavalry, that means they're running out of troops. All that's left to come after them is the artillery, and we should be able to take them out easily enough because they're not going to have any support. Okay, we're going to need support over here against those Empire Knights. They're not amazing units, but our units are in bad shape. I'd use Fireball, but... We just... It takes time to cast it, and we're just not really going to get a good shot off. Shit, this guy here is having a hard time. Why is that? Oh, Demigriff Knights. Get him out, get him out. If he dies, we're in big trouble. Bouncer Power's dropped a little bit because their reinforcement's coming in. Okay, they've got their artillery in. I need I need dudes to go take them out. It's okay if he leaves the. Oh, it's actually not great if he leaves the battlefield. I think about it. I can't replace these units. But if they're... Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're breaking them as they're coming in. That's what we need to see. Bounce of power went off a fair bit. Come on, give us the army loss penalty already. Most of their units have left the battlefield. Oh, fuck, they've got a steam tank? Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't see that. Right, I think that's the last of their artillery, the the Hellstorm rocket batteries, although I'm not certain. We serve our relief. Hey. Run. 
Nope, there's more. Okay, that's another one going. Again, they might still have another one. Keep him alive, but keep him on the battlefield. This one here, let's get him off the battlefield, because I can't replace him. That's what really matters. Ah, uh, no, he's, he's, he's gone. Just forget about it. He's gone. No, 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 no. Stay out of this. So I got some reinforcements come in. A unit's been wiped out. Not one of the heroes, I don't think. Alright, here comes some... Knights of the Realm. I really need them right now, just for the cleanup job. Shit, Hellstorm Rocket Battery coming in over here. Oh no, because on large unit scale, maybe this unit isn't wiped out. But what unit of mine did get wiped out? I'm not sure. Okay, I think that's the last of my reinforcements. Odds are in our favor, just slightly. Come on over here, take out these Hellstorm Rocket Batteries. Hmm. Spread out a little bit. This guy here's in really bad shape. It's okay, he's immortal, pretty sure. So he, even if he gets knocked out, he can't actually die. This guy here's not immortal. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Let's move up here. It's okay if he leaves the battlefield. Where are you guys? Okay, there's the army loss penalty, but we still need to take out the uh, the steam tank. This guy here cut it close. That's okay. We're in friendly territory, and like I said, their armies are just going to be obliterated because of this. That was a long ass battle. Pyrrhic victory for sure. I don't know what unit got wiped out. I guess we'll find out. Heroic victory. Yeah, I thought we'd get Pyrrhic. So, all of those guys will survive. That guy's dead. But these two armies here, they're gone. Because they came in on Force March. That is a crushing blow to Ostland. So, what did we lose? Okay, we lost a Battle Pilgrim and a Foot Squire. A shame, but not the end of the world. See, that's only going to affect this armor here. I'll take the money. Even though we've got plenty of it, it could run out at some point. Oh, shit. Oh, right, right, that's okay. We should be able to pursue and, and take Middenheim next turn. Because they're, they're in bad shape. But we are at two hours into this video, so what I'm thinking is this this one here definitely needs a second episode. Um, doesn't necessarily deserve a second episode because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is deliberate. But it's all about entertainment value. I'm I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy this one. Pretty sure. So I think I'll make a second one. Yeah, I would like extra research rate. Cool. 
So, okay, Lisa didn't. Losing that one unit actually allowed us to replenish some of our peasants. Uh, and Albrecht did gain a good amount of replenishment, so that's good. That's what really matters. And we'll be able to push on to Middenheim. I don't think they'll be able to stop us there. We'll lose Dieterschaffen unless we rush back over there, but it's just becoming a massive pain dealing with the stuff. If we have a look at what they have to deal with... Yeah, it's, they'll be coming pretty much straight for us. And we do have access now to better knights, so we can get better troops, but we still got a long way to go before we can get really good units. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, and there'll be a part two, I suppose, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.